Hey guys, welcome to episode number 398. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And I hope everyone had a lovely Thanksgiving. We are back down in the fish room now, and we are looking at the baby axolotls. And as you can see, they have grown tremendously over the Thanksgiving break. Not really thanks to me. Um, I was away. I did feed them heavily with brine shrimp before I left. And I had Mike Mass Aquariums come over and feed them some bloodworms while I was away. Uh, but I don't think that's what did it either. As you scan this aquarium, I started with about a hundred babies and if I was to guess I would say there's probably about 50 of them in here now so I think uh, most of this growth is actually due to cannibalism so while you were eating turkey these guys were eating their brothers and sisters kinda weird um, but I guess that's what they do they're sort of uh, opportunistic I would say so they just sort of float around and anything that comes near them they'll just snap at it and if it happens to be one of their brothers or sisters especially if they're smaller um, they do tend to get eaten so that's why it's really important when you're keeping axolotls baby axolotls to feed them as heavily as possible and I guess the lesson I'm learning here is to also separate them as much as possible so uh, I may be separating these guys here in the near future just to make sure that I keep as many as I possibly can but what I am doing here right now is feeding some bloodworms this is uh, the San Francisco Bay brand uh, frozen bloodworms so I just took one little blister pack full of those and uh, I've spread those out I let it thaw uh, when it thaws a little bit, then it sinks, and uh, then I just spread it around as best I can, and let them have at it. Uh, I guess the other thing you'll notice here is the addition of the sponge filter. Uh, I don't think this is doing a whole lot of work down here, because as I've said in the past, I am doing twice daily water changes on this tank, and now that I've got about, oh, 20 gallons, out of the 30 gallon uh, tank filled. I'm doing about a five or 10 gallons uh, of water changes every single day on these guys. So that's what's keeping the water relatively clean. Uh, again, I am dosing prime and um, that tends to be helping as well. Um, also important is after an hour or two of these blood worms being on the bottom, I will siphon those out and uh, make sure that those don't foul the water um, as a result of, you know, rotting on the bottom. But these guys have a voracious appetite, and, um, you know, after an hour or two, most of these blood worms won't even be there. So, um, as you can see, most of these guys are about the same size. That's another reason why I suspect some cannibalism. There are a few small ones, like there's one or two way in the back there against the glass, but most of them are of a similar size. You'll see that they have uh, their front legs, and uh, I think pretty soon they're gonna start to grow their back legs. And at that point, they're gonna be walking around quite a bit, and probably hunting quite a bit more, which means that cannibalism will probably increase, not decrease. So that's what we've got going on right now. Um, I will be transferring these guys into a larger aquarium very shortly. I think they've just about outgrown this size tank and uh, I'm looking forward to setting that up soon so you can look forward to that. I'm also going to be getting back into my 40 gallon breeder rack and doing a deep clean on that system and uh, setting that up with some new fish here shortly. So that should be entertaining to watch. Um, I've got a whole bunch of other video plans in the works to keep me busy through the winter months which will be also entertaining to watch and uh, hopefully these guys grow up too.
so we can continue to watch these guys grow uh, as well. A couple milestones real quick. I think I hit 15,000 subscribers a while back. Uh, I haven't celebrated that. I'm about to hit 400 video episodes and uh, I want to celebrate that as well. So I'm planning on running a little celebration contest. So look forward to that here in the next week or so. But for now, this is the Baby Axe Level Tank and they certainly do like to eat their brine shrimp, their blood worms, and each other. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.